What's up guys, BND Gaming here, and today I'm going to be showing you my personal best world tournament team. Yeah, so uh, if you didn't know, Brawlies are the best units for the world tournament. They're AoE, which is attack all, and uh, it's it's seriously so, so easy now. So uh, the team I'm going to be running is the Pure Saiyans team. So we have Vegeta as the uh, leader, and then we have the UI Goku, obviously the physical Brawly and the AGL Brawly, so they can link uh, together well. And then I also like to include the EZA STR Brawly, uh, since he is an attack all unit and he can defend very well. And I like the INT Raditz, because he is also an attack all unit. All right, so today I think we're gonna show you a full round of the uh, tournament. If I am correct. Uh, yes, we are. So this is going to be a little lengthier at the beginning because we have to take out three teams. But then once we get down to it, uh, it'll move very fast. I mean, you're just going to be one shotting everything. Yes, usually up until the last stage. Then that is where it gets difficult because we are on uh, the 30 times difficulty. I, I really wish that they would make better LRs for the tournament. Yes, and the L units. Yes, I completely agree with you. Uh, the well, I wish they would make a super type unit that was a tackle. Yeah, that. I mean, they do have like the uh, Chaozu and uh, yeah, the, Chaozu, the Chaozu and what fusion? It's the. Uh, hmm, I don't know. Sure. I think he might be JP only. Also, unless we might. got him when. Uh, Legends came, not Legends, but uh, Dragon Ball. The banners, the Dragon Ball Fusion for the uh, DS that came out yes. when those banners were here. But I, he's not worth it. No, not at all. Uh, so, as we see here, we're most likely just going to one turn. This so should be no problem at all. Yep, there we go. All right. Yeah, that... That wasn't hard. No, not at all. It's usually quite easy. Now, a nice thing about the Evolution Blue Vegeta also is his uh, additional attacks. Yes. Uh, whenever you get a unit down to uh, low health, it is very nice to have that. All right. Jumping into another battle. Uh, yes, we are. Yep. Uh, shouldn't be too bad. I mean, uh, this unit's gonna, or this turn's going to be nice because... Every unit is an attack all for this rotation, so... Raditz is an attack all? Yes, he is. I did yeah. not know that. That is a... Yep, he's a free-to-play attack all unit. I don't do a lot in the world tournament. It's it's not my thing. I don't yeah. think the units are good enough for anything that comes with it. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, the only thing I do the world tournament for is the LRs, because I'd like to get them awakened. Yeah, collection purposes. Yep, yes. Yep. I'm just lazy, I yeah. guess. And you can also uh, gain a lot of... Uh, dragon stones because I actually went from 850 dragon stones to uh, 885 dragon stones in the matter of one day and I only spent two dragon stones on uh, the actual world tournament so that is a large increase yeah now the rewards can be nice but it is a little bit of a grind it's a it's very much of a grind especially if you're trying to do the uh uh challenges to get the awakening medals at the very beginning where you have to beat uh three or where you have to be three and seven stages with a world tournament character a uh transforming character as well as a peppy gals character oh yeah Yes, I can take some time because you have to run a different team. But then as soon as I switched over to this team, as you can see, after that first uh, battle we were in, I didn't really take any other damage. Yeah, so this is a pretty good team here. I've seen a lot of different team builds on YouTube for the World Tournament, but I do like your team. Yes, a lot of people like to run the All Extreme team, but I, I prefer this one because... The, uh, a big part in uh, the world tournament, especially when you get to the higher stages, is that the units deal more and more damage against you. So I like that uh, this team has the uh, high defense built in with uh, the Vegeta lead. So that's very nice. Oh, he just went right past me. Oh, <laughs> what a, uh, a 
coward. I know. He's just running. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to get this work. His death is inevitable. Inevitable. Uh, see an enemy. Inevitable. Inevitable. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, we're gonna take a little bit of damage from the brawly in the front, but I mean, seventy-five thousand. It's just that's not very much. That's fine. So, we should take out a good chunk of these units. Uh, there's only one time you have to use an item with this team, and that's on the final stage. Uh, because if you don't get the right rotation, you can take a massive amount of damage and get uh, a one turn. So, I always like to pop a Ghost Usher, just to ensure I'm taking out most of the units. And then it's usually smooth sailing from there. So... The world tournament is, um, it's fun and all, but a real thing we can talk about here is me and Drew today tried ramen for the first time. It, it was delicious. It was life changing. Uh, gosh, it was incredible. We aren't going to tell you exactly where we went, but it was, uh, something special and I am definitely going back as soon as I can. Yes, that is 100% certain. I felt a lot like the characters in uh, TBZ because they eat a lot of ramen and that's very good. But as you see in this uh, in this battle, we're getting we're gonna get a bonus get because we are facing an all grade ape team. So that's really cool. I always I like the idea of the bonus get. I think that's a neat little thing that they made uh, if you get lucky enough to get one. Yeah, that is pretty cool. It's cool to see fun teams like that. Yeah, yeah, I, I like the ideas of the team. Like, this is personally the first time I've seen the uh, great, all, all great ape team. Yeah, that is very cool. Yeah. Yeah, usually I see a lot of the... There's a... I know for a fact that there's the actual world tournament team, and then there is also a pure Saiyans team that you can see. Is there a tournament of power team? Because that would be... I don't believe so. I haven't seen one, if there is. That'd so. be really cool. That would be really cool. Like a Universe 7. Yeah, yeah, that would be really cool. Or like a Universe 6 or something like that. Yeah. That would be cool. See, that's another thing, I think, with Doken, they could make a uh, each universe that was represented. Kind of like, not the ones that were focused on, but they could definitely make a, a Universe 11 category. Yeah, now maybe like, um, so the World Tournament always comes around, but maybe if there's ever... A special event going on they could do a special world tournament where it's like a tournament of power and yes. the rewards are better and the LR is like something insane yes, so it makes people incredible. really go for it yes yeah because uh, whenever they release a new LR you see a lot of people flowing to the world tournament because they want to get this LR and then they want to get them awakened but as more and more people get the LR awakened it's you don't get as much incentive to uh, go for the drive to participate in these world tournaments and as you saw there I popped uh, the ghost usher just because I didn't want to take those attacks because they do a lot of damage and I would like to keep my winning streak going yeah so this is nice this is the final battle yes this is we're in the final stage of this now so um, the world tournament is just getting owned by you Yes, it's not difficult at all. I understand that a lot of people don't have these units, but a lot of people have a majority of these units. So you can run different forms of this team. And I know I don't have the perfect team because instead of the easy A STR Brawly, I could be running an LR STR Brawly if I had him, but I don't. Now, Browse does have that LR Brawly. Yes, he does. To my information, he also does not participate in the World Tournament. No, he does not believe in that type of grind, which I don't blame him. The grind for these are quite difficult. I, they are very repetitive, especially when you get to this stage because, I mean, mm -hmm. we just beat it cool. and, I mean, took no damage on the final stage, and it, it's just not very difficult once you get there, but... At the end of the day, it's worth the rewards that you can get from this, especially the LRs. I know they aren't the best, but if you're a collector like we are, then uh, it's fun getting them. Now, I'm not going to lie. The LRs uh, art does actually look kind of cool. As well. Yes, they do. Yep, I agree. Yeah, and the great part about this, so we can run through the rewards real quick. Uh, the great part about these rewards, there are a lot of Dragonstones available. I don't really care for the 
Dragon Ball tickets and the SSR tickets because they aren't very good units. Uh, you can, as you can see here, you can grab one of the new INT uh, future Super Saiyan Gohans. Uh, but what I really want to focus on is you can get one of each uh, type of Elder Kai, and then you can get uh, three uh, Grand Kais. That is a very nice award. Yes, that is. All right, guys, I want to thank you for watching our video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, uh, comment down below on what you think, and please give the video a like and subscribe to our channel for more content. See ya.